Lesson 2.1b, Exploring Properties of Integer Exponents. Here we have 4 times 4 times 4. It can be written as 4 to the third power. Here we have 4 times 4. That can be written as 4 to the second power. We can take 4 to the third power plus 4 to the second power, and it will equal 4 to the fifth power. We have 3 4s and two more fours, that makes four to the fifth power. The multiplication property of exponents is also called the product rule for exponents. This property states for any positive integers, a and b, if x raised to the a power times x raised to the b power, then it will equal x to the a plus b. We will add the exponents together when the bases are the same and we're multiplying the bases. This property states when multiplying like bases, we just add their exponents. We have 4 and 4, which are like bases. This is 4 raised to the third power. We're multiplying it by 4 raised to the second power. We just add their exponents because the bases are the same. They're like. We have 4 to the 3 plus 2. That's going to give us 4 to the 5th power. Here we have 3 to the 5th power times 3 to the 4th power. Same base. They're like bases. So we're just going to add the exponents. It's 3 to the 5 plus 4. That's 3 to the 9th power. Now look at this one. We have 8 to the 2nd power. We know that means 8 times 8. And we're multiplying it by 8. When there's no exponent, the exponent is 1. It's like there's a little invisible 1 here. We're going to multiply it by another 8. We have 8 times 8 times 8. We can look at this as 8 raised to the second power times 8 raised to the first power, which is equal to 8 raised to the second plus 1. That would be 8 to the third. And it would be 8 to the third. We have 8 times 8 times 8. That's three of them. So remember, when there is no exponent, the exponent is 1. It's like there's a little invisible 1 there, but we don't write that. Here we have 2 raised to the 4th power multiplied by 2 raised to the 3rd power. 2 to the 4th power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. We have 4 factors of 2. 2 raised to the 3rd power is 3 factors of 2. We have 7 factors of 2 in all. We have 2 raised to the 4th plus 3 that's going to give us 2 raised to the 7th power. We can write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 in exponential notation as 2 to the 7th power. Much easier to write. But be careful. We don't multiply the bases. Notice that they're like bases. We don't multiply the bases. We just add the exponents when the bases are the same. 2 to the 4th power times 2 to the 3rd power is not equal to 4 to the 7th power. We don't multiply these. We just add these exponents together and keep that like base. We have 2 to the 7th power. Now we have learned in the past when a fraction has the same number for its numerator and denominator, it's equal to 1. Knowing this, we can simplify an expression by canceling out. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 fives as our numerator and 3 fives as our denominator. We can say this is 5 fifths, this is 5 fifths, and this is 5 fifths. So we have a 1, a 1, and a 1. It would be like saying 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times 5. That's 5 to the second power. We canceled these out as the same numerator and denominator, and we're just left with 5 times 5, which is 5 to the second power. Now, we can also do 5 to the 5th power divided by 5 to the 3rd power, and we subtract the exponents. We get 5 raised to the 5 minus 3, which is equal to 5 to the 2nd power. When we divide, remember fractions are division, when we divide two powers with the same base, they both have a 5, we just subtract the exponents. For those of you who are confused, maybe these lined up will make more sense. Same numerator and denominator, same numerator and denominator, same numerator and denominator. It's like saying 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times 5, and 1 times 1 times 1 for the denominator. We get 5 times 5 over 1, which is 
5 to the second power. The exponent only affects the base it is next to. We have 3 raised to the fourth power. That's equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. We have four factors of 3. Here we have a, b raised to the second power. The exponent only affects the base it's next to, so this exponent 2 does not affect the a. This would be a times b times b. We'd have two b factors. If the exponent is outside of parentheses, it affects everything within the parentheses. If we have 3 raised to the fourth power raised to the second power, well, then we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, that's 3 to the fourth power, raised to the second power. That means we have two of these. That would be equal to four of them and another four of them, which is eight altogether. We would have 3 raised to the eighth power. 3 to the fourth power raised to the second power is equal to 3 to the fourth times 3 to the fourth. See? 3 to the fourth power times 3 to the fourth power. We could also do 3 to the 4 plus 4, which is 3 to the eighth power. They have like bases. We just add the exponents. We can raise a power to a power by multiplying exponents. We would have 3 to the 4th times 2. We would just multiply these because this 3 to the 4th power is inside parentheses. We can do 3 to the 4th power times 2, which is equal to 3 to the 8th power. We have 3 to the 4th power times 3 to the 4th power. We have two of these. Because they have the same base, we could do 3 to the 4 plus 4, which is equal to 3 to the 8th power. But we can also just multiply these 4 times 2 and get 3 to the 8th. We can multiply exponents when one exponent is outside of the parentheses. So because we have a parentheses here and this 2 is on the outside, we can just multiply it to the 4 and get 3 to the 8th power. These rules also apply if the exponents are negative. We have 3 to the negative first power times 3 to the negative second power. We've got like bases here. We can just do negative 1 plus negative 2, which gives us negative 3. We have 3 to the negative third power. Negative exponents make positive fractions. We learned that. So we would have 1 over 3 raised to the third power. This 3 to the negative first power is 1 third. We could say it's 3 to the first power, but we don't need to write that one exponent, do we, when there's a 1? We could say it's 1 third times 1 over 3 to the second power. We get 1 over 3 to the 1 plus 2. See how we got 1 over 3 to the third, just like we did here? We wrote it as a fraction, and we added the positive exponents. Now that it's in a fraction, it's 1 27th. If we have 3 to the negative first power raised to the negative second power, we can just multiply these two. And negative 1 times negative 2 makes a positive 2. We multiply the exponents. Remember, a negative times a negative makes a positive. So if we multiply negative 1 times negative 2, we get a positive 2. We have 3 to the second power. We're finished with 2.1b. We're going to be moving on to 2.1c, the last part. Applying properties of integer exponents. If you didn't take good notes during this video, try going back and taking some screenshots at least so that you can remember these different properties or product rule power rules for exponents because we will be using them as we move forward. Have a wonderful day and please join me for the last part of the lesson. Bye.